Shark Tank did uh, the folks in my profession a huge favor because they brought the word valuation into our living rooms and uh, dare I say made the word valuation sexy. And there's a lot of reasons why companies need evaluation more than what you just see on Shark Tank. But uh, over my career, I've helped thousands of companies figure out what their businesses are worth and what their intellectual property or intangible assets are worth. One of those intangible assets is people or human capital. Um, so I valued human capital throughout my career. I was also a single dad for about a dozen years, years excuse me, and uh, worked for some people that were really cool who understood the, uh, the challenges of being a single parent. And I learned that I would walk through fire for them because they were just great. Uh, I also got to work for some folks who maybe weren't quite as understanding and uh, maybe I didn't go quite as far for them. And I started to understand what employee engagement really meant firsthand. But um, the big takeaway was that I really believe that people are or an organization's most valuable asset. They don't appear on a financial statement. And I decided that I needed to do some writing on that. And I wrote an article about it. And the article got some traction and more people started to show up in my life and tell me you need to do more, do more. And I wound up collaborating with about 20 other thought leaders across North America. And uh, the book is my journey to basically prove out my thesis that people really are an organization's most valuable asset. So I never intended to write a book. The book just sort of happened. Wow. Well, why is that? Why wouldn't human capital appear on a balance sheet? Why isn't that something that has been part of the valuation process, in your opinion? Well, early in my career, uh, there was an assembled workforce asset that did live on a financial statement. And then it devolved away from that. And the, I don't want to get too wonky here unless you really want to go down a rabbit hole of uh, <laughs> valuation technicalities and how we make the sausage, so to speak. But um, suffice to say that human capital uh, does not live on a balance sheet. It's not its own line item. Uh, in the world that, that I work in and live in every day, we value human capital and it winds up getting subsumed into goodwill, which is what's left over as all the other stuff that you can't identify. And it's kind of a catch-all bucket for what's left after you put value on things like trade name and technology and customers. Wow. Wow. It's hard to believe when the human element, the energy, what it is that people bring to an organization and dealing with clients and handling all of the aspects of business, that is what people come away with. That is the experience that people have and that they want to continue working with you or not working with you. So it's it's so interesting to me. I've never thought about it this way until speaking with you that that wasn't even something that was considered to be a major return on investment. 